Good morning, my name is Sunil from Family Homes. I just thought I'd do a video today, um, a, a day in the life of a property investor. So during the day, I'm gonna put together some videos and uh, some clips where I'm going to see some sites or uh, projects. Uh, we've got a tenant that's been in our property for 12 years has just left and returned the keys. So I'm just gonna go and check that. So, and talk to our business partners during the day. So I'll put that all together and hope it's of some interest to you. So as part of my video diary for today, I'm here at the, this property, uh, as you can see um, here. It's a four bedroom house and the tenants have been living there for 12 years. So it's gonna need some work. Hi, it's Sunil again. Um, I'm at the office now, it's uh, 10 to 10. So I've been around to the, one of the projects and a property that's been rented for 12 years that needs a lot of work doing to it. So I've been there, uh, given guys the schedule of works to be done. Um, so they're getting on with that. I'm at the office. Um, property investing is not always uh, easy. There are challenges, of course, and people don't sometimes put those challenges out. But today, during my day, I'm going to give you all the challenges and show you everything that's happened. So the first thing that happened this morning is that our van was parked in the car park and somebody decided to break the small window. So we have CCTV, so we'll be getting the footage of that, but that all takes time and reporting that to, that, to the police. And we have also have a project in Dover, which we're converting a church into nine flats. Um, unfortunately, again there, people have decided to break in and see what materials there are, because materials seem to be in short supplies. Um, it may be that they just want to get in and see if there's any tools there. There's actually nothing inside, but these are the daily challenges that property investors face. Um, so I'm at the office, but I've now got to focus on putting those two things aside. Uh, I have a meeting with one of my business partners in 10 minutes. Uh, on a Zoom call. So we're gonna go through, uh, which is a property that's been built from ground up in Alsford. It's two properties, a two bedroom and a three bedroom. And my colleague over here, Lord, is has been tasked to sell these properties. So me and my business partners are gonna do a Zoom call to check uh, how we're getting on, how many viewings we've had online, how it's been marketed. Um, we've done some CGI's of the, the properties to give it a, more of a boost. We've done uh, tours so that people can see that and we're doing everything possible to promote that property to get a fast sale. We have finance on the property so we are on a time scale because each day that that property doesn't get sold of course we're having to pay finance to the finance company which eats into our profit so we will do everything possible to make sure that we get the best deal but in the quickest possible time. So that's happening at 10 uh, and again I will update the video at that stage. Right, Sunil, it's 11 o'clock and uh, as part of my diary today, uh, this I'm just with my business partner uh, on a, we're just going to discuss a, uh, the plans uh, for a conversion of a pub and so we are uh, doing a Zoom call because he's based in Canterbury, our architect's based in, in Sittingbourne, I'm based in Sittingbourne, so we are just about to do a Zoom call to go through the meetings. Um, so it's a very varied day and between the time I last spoke to you and now, we've also had a call for a lady needing to accommodate 12 contractors. Um, so we're working on that, or my team's working on that whilst we jump onto this call. Um, and yeah, we're hoping to agree the plans today to be able to make a planning application. So we've got some plans here, as you can see, and hopefully we'll be able to discuss them. Okay, thank you.